Okay. Well, go fish. What's up, Brady? I'm We have a problem. Our future guy is being in the of the by the man of the Okay. Okay. <gasps> Go. My hat. My hat. <sighs> Binder. Here's what we learned. Okay, let's start by understanding these building blocks Radiosity was talking about. Translation, rotation, and scaling. Translations are the movement of an object from one set of coordinates to another. This is done by multiplying a translation matrix to each of the vertices of the object. So let's say we have a 2D coordinate system. And let's say we have an object at the origin of our coordinate system. Using this matrix, where delta y is equal to 4 and delta x is equal to 5, we can show how to translate our object up 4 in the y direction and over 5 in the x direction. Next, we have rotations. Rotations are the movement of an object around an axis. In 3D, we have three rotation matrices, one for each axis. Here is the matrix for rotation around the x-axis. Here is the matrix for rotation around the y-axis. And finally, here is the matrix for rotation around the z-axis. So here's our object again. Using the z-axis rotation matrix, where theta is equal to negative 45 degrees, we get rotation around the z-axis. Lastly, we have scaling, which is the resizing of an object. So again, here's our object. Now say we want to scale it up to two times its original size. We can apply this matrix where delta x, delta y, and delta z are equal to 2. Now it's important to remember that in transformations, order matters. For an example, if we first translate our object and then rotate it about the origin, we get this image. But if we first rotate and then translate, we get a different image. Clearly this shows that in some transformations, order matters. In the case you want to rotate an object about itself, Make sure to translate to the origin, rotate the object, and translate it back again. A similar situation occurs when scaling an object. Here we have our object scaled without translating first to the origin. Next we have our object translated to the origin before scaling, and then translated back. In other words, to rotate an object about itself, or correctly scale an object, you must translate to the origin, perform your transformation, and then translate back to the desired location. So now that we know how to do rotations, scalings, and transformations, we can find the final matrix transformation that took RoboKitty to that awful position. Let's do it. Yes. Race the board, Great Tracer. We got it. We finally did it. Oh. Oh. 
Well, let's tell Radiosity that we finished this caper. Radiosity, we figured out the transformation matrix. We figured it out. You. See you soon. High five.